Hey guys, we're just finishing breakfast. The whole schedule is going to be off now without having to milk Prudence at the normal time. I mean, I'm not going to have to milk her at all here in a couple of weeks or a week. So anyway, the boys and I are just having some breakfast. And, uh, oh, you want to say hi again? Sorry. So, I'll catch up with you guys later. So you might wonder why um, I was wearing that big fluffy fur hat this morning. Homestead Boy 2 gave it to me and uh, I was wearing it around the house. My head was nice and warm and now I came outside where it's cool. My head's kind of cold. I'm really hoping they come this morning to do the gutters because um, I'm going to be gone this afternoon and I'd really like to be here at least when they get started just so I can talk to them and make sure they're going to be doing everything that way that I'd, I want them to do it. So we will see. Well, I'm heading out to milk. Um, Prudence looks pretty full. I feel bad that she's um, in discomfort, but she needs to be dried off. So I'm going to milk her. I'm not going to milk her out. Um, since it's been about 24 hours since, she, since she's been milked, she's probably got a couple gallons in there. I'll probably just take a little less than a gallon um, so that her body stops producing so much. And... Um, Hopefully that goes well. You guys can probably see with all the rain that we've had, it's really wet over here. I need to, if you guys remember, I had a tree trimming company bring a whole bunch of wood chips. So I've got three truckloads of wood chips over there behind the truck there. So I'll need to take some of those with a front end loader. I'll need to throw the front end loader back on the tractor and put them over there so it's not quite so wet and muddy um, for the rest of the fall. But I'm gonna head to milking, I'm gonna get the I'm gonna feed the animals and then to go do the milking. So see you guys in a bit. I finished milking and I came over here to check on the meat birds. And I noticed a near disaster. Um, a couple years ago I switched over to ceramic bulbs instead of heat bulbs. And I don't know if you can see this right here, that black spot. This light was down over top of that. The chicks had knocked it off and it was down there. And you can see it singed the stuff, but it didn't start it on fire. Not good. Had it been a bulb, very easily could have started a fire. Move this away from there. Um, so, this is all about being real, right? Like I made a mistake. So, you can see I've got two screws here. I think they were probably for a different um, bulb assembly, clamp assembly. And they fit pretty tight, but apparently not tight enough. So I'm going to go get a couple more screws and fix this quick so that it can't fall off again. Um, but yeah, disaster averted, I suppose. Hey guys, we are on our way home from co-op. Uh, I'm hoping that they will have started on the gutters, but it's kind of been spitting all day. It hasn't, wasn't supposed to rain. We had like a 20% chance of rain, but this is the kind of stuff that doesn't show up on radar. It just is so light it's almost more annoying though because it's like you can never it just is a non-stop thing if that makes sense so we'll see if they're there when we get home i'll be very happy i'm really looking forward to getting those gutters on there and getting the water at least part of the water moved um so that it's not always on the north side of the barn there so we'll see what happens from the umbrella it's kind of raining and as you can probably see from the barn there's no uh, gutters I'm gonna give them a call and see if they're planning on coming today I honestly would not want to work in this weather it's cold miserable rain when I had my landscaping company I worked in this plenty doing fall cleanups and stuff it's no fun at all so I wouldn't blame them if they just wanted to come tomorrow well I called the gutter company and they were gonna call me back and let me know if they're coming today haven't heard from them it's not likely they're coming. It's already six o'clock. I think it's dark so early now. So I'm gonna ro run over and see if I can get the post that broke off in the ground out so I can maybe put another post in for the mailbox so I can start getting mail again. Well, it started raining, but here's what I've got. I um, was looking for a post that I could put in see if I had like a five foot section of four by four. Wanna say hi? 
So I didn't have anything Can like I that, but I had an eight I'm foot. An animal male. Sure. I had an eight foot um, dowel fence post. It's a four inch dowel fence post. So I got the manual post hole digger and dug the hole out no next male. to it, put it in, backfilled yeah. it, and then I just and used no two of these Dad. five and a half inch, five and an eighth inch lag bolts Dad, and no lagged it onto it. Thanks, buddy. So this is a very temporary solution. The mailbox might be too high. I'm, I can't remember what the regulation is by US Postal Regulation. So it might be a little bit high. Um, and you can see the little notch on the back there, right above there, right there. Um, what I'd like to do is cut that off and then put it in front because on the side of both of the four by four, I have our address. So like if we would ever need an ambulance or something, it's reflective and they could see it. Right now, I've just got it sisted through the side. It'll work. I'll talk to our mail carrier, see if the height is okay, and then um, figure out if I need to cut it off and put it in front. So I'm gonna head inside, it started to rain again. So you see Prudence right there? I feel bad for her. Um, I know she's not in any real, well, I don't know if she's in any pain. I know she's uncomfortable. Um, she sees me coming out and this would be milking time. So she kind of came over to the gate and then I kind of had to say, sorry, sweetheart. Uh, not gonna happen right now. I'll milk her again tomorrow and then I may just like milk her as needed and let her body stop making milk. So this morning I got like three quarters of a gallon. Um, I may go for two more days doing one milking and then stop just to give it a couple more days but by this weekend then she should be dried out and then in two months we'll have a, um, a calf hopefully. Well, I was working on picking up the barn a little bit. I got some stuff done. I had to go pick up Homestead Boy 1, get some gas in the car, and stop the grocery store quick. So I'm going to head out. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys had a wonderful day. If you've made this far in the video and you haven't already subscribed, I would really appreciate it. It helps out the um, channel a ton, and it keeps me going. So we'll see you guys tomorrow.